Let's be nerds. Come on now, let, let's be Shazam! Nerds. Hello and welcome to this episode of Backyard Fitness and Stuff Cosplay. So, today we are going to be making the Cicada Blade from the Flash series for a buddy of mine because we got Comic Palooza coming up, so expect some cosplay videos. First, I got wood and a pencil. So I'm going to trace out what I want and I'll be right back. I sketched out the basic image of what I saw for the Cicada Blade and I feel like it looks pretty good. The only difference is this might be more knife-like in this version. It, it should be a little bit straighter but I don't think, I think that's something subtle that someone's really not going to notice. Uh, and the handle is uh, longer than the rest of the, the blade. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shape out with my jigsaw. Man, I love a good jigsaw. And for these sharp corners here, I'm gonna use my technique that I showed a long time ago in like one of my first cosplay builds for my uh, my Aquaman Trident. What we're gonna do is, at each one of these very sharp turns, we are gonna drill a hole that is the size of our blade here that our blade can fit in so that whenever we go to change direction we can change the angle of the jigsaw without having to try to fight the corner So now we have our shape that we cut out, which I think looks pretty neat, even in its basic form. Cicada. So now I've been sanding for a little while, trying to do it kind of quietly because uh, we in apartments and it's two in the morning. But we uh, are we got our shape down. I've been kind of blading up the edges, and then even down here at the bottom. It has the same shape, but a little bit was chipped, but I kind of added to it by giving it a little bit of liberty myself, giving it a little bit of a point here, but I think it is starting to come to shape. I'm going to keep sanding on it, and we'll be back. So I didn't want to end up doing too much at the end of the day, so this is the blade, okay? And this is where I'm going to be putting yet the yellows and oranges in these grooves that I made because it's going to be a metallic, dark, gunmetal gray with oranges, reds, and yellows going through. That's going to be the light then. Little note, what I like to do is uh, before I go and I start spray painting, I like to take some type of cloth and wipe it all over the edge. That way uh, you don't have all the wood shavings that could keep it, keep the paint itself from sticking to any of the blade. I painted it, so we're gonna let that dry and you'll see it once it's dry. So we've got a quick layer of paint on here. Uh, we got that gun metal I was talking about and you could really see where the uh, oranges and reds for the lightning are gonna go. Um, note that whenever you're painting wood, it's a very porous material that soaks up the paint so especially your first layer isn't going to take very long to dry but the more layers you put on the more those pores are getting filled and the longer it's going to take to dry so just let that be a note i'm probably going to put a couple more layers on here let that dry and then we'll work into the the lightning all right guys so here's what we got going we've got our cicada blade here we've got the gun metal color we've got fiery colors because we want it to look like it is glowing so what i'm gonna do is so i'm gonna take this brush, but not this end of the brush, this end of the brush. And we're gonna take the red, and we're gonna fill in all of these grooves here, and then we're gonna let that dry, and then slightly smaller, we're gonna take the orange, and we're gonna fill in like a little bit thinner, and then we're gonna take the yellow, and we're gonna go even smaller. So it's gonna appear like it's, it's coming from its core. So I'll be back whenever we put the, uh, the red on there all right so we got the first layer here we've got some red all up in the grooves 
and then I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with uh, the orange and then I'll show you that and then we'll uh, go in with the yellow so but I gotta wait for this to dry 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 all right guys so as you can see I've added the orange to give it more dimension and now the final thing we're gonna be doing is putting some yellow in there so I'm gonna let this dry and uh, we'll get to the yellow dry dry man I'm no artiste but uh yeah we got a little bit of depth I like the way that looks not too shabby I feel as though something like this you wouldn't want to overdo it or have too much going on so I think that I am gonna call it uh, maybe I'll just do a little bit more recording so that you can see what it looks like and maybe do an outro but that's it essentially I just grabbed a piece of wood I had laying around the house traced out what I wanted to trace out could looked up at images on Google of what it looked like cut it out with the drill and a jigsaw put a couple of layers of that paint on used a well before I did that I used the Dremel to cut down into uh, make the lightning bolts then I did the gunmetal gray then I did the red, then I did the orange, then I did the yellow. And then you get this cool effect. So, hope you enjoyed. Back here, finish. And stuff. Let's be nerds. Come on now, let everybody come and be a nerd now. Let's be nerds. Come on now, let, let's be nerds. Come on now, let, let's be nerds. Come on now, let everybody come and be a nerd now. They call me Crash with the way I just keep spinning. Sonic speed with these coins, I just keep getting. Fighters, I run the room, I just keep on winning.